3D scanning stuff is freaky, but I cannot look away. Hey guys, welcome to D News. I'm Anthony. I'm Trace. And you know, we talk a lot about 3D printing and how 3D printing is going to change our lives. What we don't talk about that's equally cool is 3D scanning. Right, but it's only getting creepier. Seriously, <laughs> everything that 3D scans just creeps me out. Okay, so. I can see what you're talking about in this first one. This is uh, 3D scans that reveal caterpillars turning into butterflies. Now, the thing about this is insects are tiny, they're fragile. If you cut into a cocoon once to study what's you've going on, it. you've ruined it. It's, you can't it's broken. cut it back into it. You can't like glue it together again. But what's really cool is that insects are have very high resistance to radiation. Right. So you can shoot a CT scan at them like all day, like one of those mm -hmm. medical scans. Yeah. They don't care. And that way you can kind of see inside without having to actually dissect them. So rather than cutting open the actual insects to see the structures, you can use a computer to build a CD scan into a 3D model. Boom. Then you Just can like, see like the guts and the breathing tubes. And, and you can do virtual dissections and look at how things are interacting. It's right. really, really cool. And see changes over time, which is why that video is so cool. Yeah. This video, on the other hand, another one. <laughs> yeah, this one's just straight up creepy. creeping me out. <laughs> so in Japan, they now have a way that you can scan your unborn fetus. Of course they do. Of course then, you do, Japan. You, you would. can print it out. You can you print that out and would. take it home with you. This is just a scan of the fetus's face like a few months in? Or? It's like the whole thing. Yeah. It's the whole thing. And then they give it to you in this weird ornate <laughs> like gift box. box where you open it. Take home and put on your mantle, open it up and look at it and think, this is growing inside of me right now. I hate that. <laughs> well, here's, but here's something that I love. This, I think, is my favorite use of 3D scanning. And this is the okay. Smithsonian Institute. You're a, you're a DC guy. You, I am. You probably go to the Smithsonian a lot. Occasionally. And they have a lot of stuff. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff that was like taken brick by brick mm -hmm. or plank by plank. Oh, yeah. And just brought into the museum. They have the space shuttle there. Yeah. So, I mean, some of the stuff is gigantic. And then they have things like that are really, really, really small. Yep. And they have to keep all of it together. And that's what's crazy. It, like, so if you go in and you go, try to see like a gunboat, Mm -hmm. It takes up pretty much the whole room because they right. don't have a lot of space for everything. Right. So what they're doing is they're 3D scanning a lot of these exhibits to mm -hmm. let people see them off site mm -hmm. and also to preserve them, right? Right, because as the sun hits like wood or any other natural materials, it's slowly going to degrade. So if you can 3D scan it now and then in 50 years refer to that scan, you can see even not only see it as it was, but also see how things are degrading and what maybe they can do to preserve it in the future. And what's interesting is they bring back that CT scanner again because the Smithsonian has a lot of living specimens as well. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the video here, you can see them scanning like a leaf and a moth. And yeah. because of the CT scan, you don't just get a 3D of the outside of the leaf, you can see the entire like, system inside the leaf. You can see the system inside the moth. So it's really the best way to preserve all this historical stuff. About. Super cool. So that's not so creepy, is that, it? That one's that's not That's so not bad. creepy. That's you not like so that bad. one. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll change my mind a little bit on, on that one. What do you think of 3D scans? Send us your favorite cool videos. Tweet them to D News. Make sure you leave a comment if and you if have you can, any cool if stuff. And if you have a 3D scanner and you can scan me, let me know. I want to be 3D scanned. And then 3D printed and put in an ornate box. I want a on life my mantle. I want a life size printout of myself right next to me <laughs> at the office to creep you out. Basically. People would be confused. <laughs> They'd be confused. Make sure you subscribe to D News and thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna send you a life size scan of me for when you go home to DC. Nice. So you always have me with you. That sounds kinda nice. Yeah. Buds. Mm -hmm.